first set Nicoli to an external reference. This is the lower Nicoli. And then tune the upper Nicoli to it. Okay, from upper Nicoli up a fifth to D. From upper Nicoli up an octave to G. From the D down an octave to bottom D. I'm tuning the lower D to the upper D. And then from Macaulay down to Cronan G. And that sets the resonance of the harp. Return to Nicoli G, G up a fifth to D. We've already tuned that. Transfer to the D and go D up a fifth to A. I'm tuning the A to the D. Transfer an octave down from A to bottom A. And I'm tuning the bottom A to the top A. From A up a fifth to E. From E up a fifth to B. From B down an octave to B. From B up a fifth would be F sharp. But I don't have F sharp, I have F natural. So I stop the cycle of fifths and I move on to the next stage. I go back to Macaulay G. And I go G up a four to C. Transfer to C, C up a four to F natural. Now we've tuned every note of the scale from the Corley G up to F. So now we transfer those seven notes up and down the harp. G octave, Macaulay G up an octave. We actually we've already done that. Move everything up one to A. Actually we've already done that but it's still good to check. B up to B. We've done that but it's good to check. C up to C. We haven't done this yet, so we tune the upper C to the lower C. Shift everything up one. D up to D. E up to E. F up to F. G. A up to A. B up to B. C up to C. D. And that 
that's the end of taking it up the octaves. Now we have to transfer down into the bass. So we find Macaulay G, and then we're going to tune F to the octave above. So this one has been tuned. This is the one we're to test. And then we shift everything down. E. Top E down to bottom E. D. C. B. Um, that's Crone and G. I have three strings below that on this harp. I'm going to tune them to E, D, and C. So the next is E. And I'm going to tune that to this E, an octave. So this is fixed. This is being tuned. D. Finally, C. So tuning an octave to C. That's it.